what's the next question show that show that sin 22 comma 5 is equal to the square root of 2 minus root 2 all over 2 for 7 marks question answer now lots and lots and lots a little bit of theory that's going to go into here guys so you need to pay attention so take that problem down prove that prove or show that sine 22 comma 5 is equal to the square root of 2 minus root 2 all over 2 for 7 marks now we all know without the use of a calculator obviously because they want it remember when they say w u c without the use of a calculator Okay, what I like to say with the use of a Casio. But in any case, we know what we're talking about, right? Let's get started here. Sine for sine 22,5. Now you know your special angle is 45. I'm going to show you why not to use sine 45 as your special angle. Many of you would go now and say, okay, I know that sine 45, because these two are related, 22,5 is half of 45. You're going to say sine 45 is equal to as a special angle root 2 over 2. That's it. That's where you probably would start. Sine 45. Now you're going to get a 22,5 from there. You're now going to say, so do not write this. Don't write. Let me make a note here. Don't write. That is incorrect. So. I'm showing you what mistake you probably would make and then I will explain to you why that's a mistake and then we will do it the correct way. So sine 45 is equal to root 2 over 2. That we know. It's a given. Special angle. So sine, what is 45 and 22,5 is 2 times 22,5. We all know 22,5 times 2 will give me 45 is still equal to root 2 over 2. Now that's your double angle for sine. So you're now going to say 2 sine 22 comma 5 because 22 comma 5 is equal to root 2 over 2. But now, so there's a sine 22 comma 5 which you need from your question. There's a sine 22 comma 5 that you got here, but now you've got a problem. Because 22 comma 5, you've got a problem there. And now you are stuck because now you don't know what to do with cause 22 comma 5. You are completely stuck. That's why I say this, this is an incorrect procedure very tempting very tempting but wrong let's now show you the correct way now pay attention don't write remember you need to understand you need to focus your eyes need to be on the screen you need to know what is going on step by step you can take it down afterwards no problem pause the screen rewatch the show whatever pay attention that's the important part let's start we're now going to go on to cos 45 because we know that cos 45 is also square root 2 over 2. Now you might be asking, what? Why would you start with cos 45? Let me show you. Cos 45 will be broken up into cos 2 times 22 comma 5 which is also equal to root 2 over 2, your special angle. Now which of your cos formulas only have a sign? Remember, cos has got three formulas. It's got cos of a double angle, cos 2x, cos 2x, that's your double angle, has got three formulas, cos squared minus sine squared, 2 cos squared x minus 1, 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Which of these three, which of these three only have a sign in it? Would, wouldn't it be the last one? Yes or no? So cos 2 times 22 comma 5 in terms of sine because cos can be broken up in terms of sine. Sine can't be broken up in terms of cos. That is why we use the cos double angle and not the sine double angle. Understanding? I hope so. So now this becomes 1 minus 2 sine squared. What's my reference angle? 22 comma 5 is equal to square root 2 over 2. Now we don't have a cause in the problem. Unlike the previous one where we had a cause and we didn't know how to get rid of it. We now have got it in terms. So there's sine 22 comma 5. There's sine 22 comma 5. What do you think we're going to do right now? 
Yes, you're right. We all we're gonna do now is make sine 22 comma 5 the subject of the formula. Of course. So now take the one on the other side. Minus 2 sine squared 22 comma 5 is equal to root 2 over 2 plus 1 will go on the other side minus 1. We now divide by minus 2 to get rid of the minus 2. So sine squared 22 comma 5 is equal to root 2 over 2 minus 1 divided by minus 2. Sine 22 comma 5 is equal to how do I get rid of a square? I find the square root. If I find the square root on the side, I find the square root on the other side. So it's equal to the square root of root 2 over 2 minus 1 over minus 2. And now you will get your final answer, which you, will need it, which you would have needed to prove. Therefore, I'm just moving up to the side because we don't have enough space there. Therefore, your final answer, that's your final answer. Therefore, sine 22 comma 5 is equal to. When you calculate that on your calculator, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the square root of 2 minus root 2 all over 2, which is equal to right hand side. And there we go, boys and girls. You will now get seven, uh, you will get now seven marks for that problem. Okay, hope you guys have taken this one down. Just to go through a quick recap, you needed to prove that sine 22 comma 5 is equal to that. Start off, that's your starting point. That's your start. Start with cos 45 is equal to square root 2 over 2. That's your double angle. Cos 2 times 22 comma 5 is equal to square root 2 over 2. Now, all you have to do now, change your cos to sine. Change your cos to sine. And all we did there was we made, we made sine, that's, sorry, we made sine the subject of the formula 22 comma 5 the subject of the formula and there we go after that guys the problem just works itself out we're cutting for a three minute ad break you've got nothing to do during the ad break what you need to do for the next three minutes is process the problems that we've done don't waste time you've got three minutes go over it i'll see you back in three minutes time mm -hmm.